subscribe and join the Hoho family. Hi everyone, good morning. Thankfully, I got discharged yesterday. I was admitted to another hospital because I wanted to know what is wrong with me. Likely suggesting that it's actually due to a small pulse um, in terms of the bleeding, which the previous hospital actually don't think so because of the amount of my bleeding with the blood clots. Nevertheless, um, both sides did conclude that so far things have been <coughs> <coughs> stable for me and um, it's nothing life-threatening uh, mainly because I'm still young so the doctors were saying that somehow even though I've been bleeding but my hemoglobin has been stable definitely do not need um, further like blood transfusions for the treatment and all except for like the cramps or medicine for painkillers all those for my cramps um, for my vomiting and, and all so I'm just given like a bunch of meds to take and they are just gonna monitor because they the doctors did say they don't know what is it I mean until now they can't confirm what is it and even like small powers <coughs> It's just um, their suspicion. So um, nevertheless, yeah, I'm gonna stay at home um, because of my cough. So apparently, I also have like upper airway cough syndrome, which came because um, I have been having like a few viral infections. Even when I was in the hospital, I was having fever. So um, I was isolated. I was tested for COVID again, but it was negative, and um, they. They isolated me, transferred me back to a general ward. A patient also was pretty worried because. <coughs> I keep coughing and she was quite scared so she actually like um, covered her head with a blanket. Eventually the nurse told, um, requested for me to shift to another cubicle sort of ease the patient's anxiety. I actually empathized with that patient and um, that is why I agreed to shift. Uh, yeah, So I shifted again because uh, they had to do some cleaning in the second cubicle that I was um, shifted to so technically I shifted three times so it's like I got de-isolated from the isolation ward. I shifted to another cubicle because a patient complained and thirdly, I um, shifted again because they had to clean that cubicle. So it's pretty funny, right? Stuff were all very nice and um, <coughs> for me, like, you know, when they hear me coughing like that, they feel like very tired for me because now it's actually a little bit better. I've been taking medication, but sometimes I can cough every few seconds and because of this coughing, um, it's a bit scary for me to um, see patients and um, therefore, I'm on hospitalization leave again until 27th of March. Feeling very bummed up about because um, my probation got extended because of my flu incident and now because of this upper airway cough syndrome that I have, it got it probably will get extended for another month or so and it's just terrible like I just want my life to um, go on smoothly I want to get myself together ironically um, I am okay with about my health I think I'm coping well because um, it's nothing too new and I guess um, I generally know that my health may have some issues sometimes so I'm just a bit bummed out about the hospitalization stay uh, because I don't like to stay in the hospital of course and um, <coughs> this time I had to stay in a subsidized class because the private wards, the single room, single bed ones, they are used for COVID related cases. So I had to stay with um, in, a, in a ward of a cubicle of six patients and um, I'm a light sleeper so it's very very hard for me to adjust. But putting that aside, I can't stand that my um, work, I'm not able to return to work and my colleagues have to hang for me um, the workload. Like they hired me to ease their workload but I'm just not helping out. So it's something that I have to resolve. Um, myself uh, my colleagues are, and my supervisor they are very 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 nice about it and I guess the nicer they are the more guilty I feel as well it's like <coughs> why can't I just recover and go back yeah anyway thanks for hearing my rant uh, my whole family is gonna come over to visit me and Yuki so um, I've cooked quite like porridge for them and dessert as well to um, show my hospitality I guess I've also cleaned up the house a little bit uh, quite a bit actually so um, yeah I will um, update you guys again um, thanks so much for hearing me rant on and on and on he knows that they're coming he's super excited <coughs> should be coming anytime soon Yeah. <laughs>
To visit my daughter and also Yuki, my pet dog. Miss him so much. <coughs> Yuki so happy, huh? Grandma's here again. Fruits that Mommy Ho bought that I'm actually peeling the skin. So these are the herbs that my auntie bought um, after she knew that I was coughing. Really sweet of her. Doing some Chinese almonds and some sweet dates. Oh, oh, I go so sweet. Uh, <laughs> so sweet. For my grandpa, he bought me top floss, cod liver oil, sweet. <coughs> and herbal <coughs> sweet, sweet. She said it will uh, stop my coughing. And mommy bought, but I don't have bad breath. <laughs> That's why you see. Uh, honey, honey dates. Uh, more of the almond. Is it got one bitter one? Sweet? And one sweet. Uh, she said oh, it's yeah. good to combine. Sweet and bitter. But the bitter one is a little bit toxic. I, I, no. I googled, although you have no, to you must cook. cook it. She said you must cook, yes. I'm yeah. mm, so happy that bad. Mommy Ho is here, Grandma Ho is here. Yeah. See, he's just clinging so cute. No, I can't. Wow, cheap way that I've been craving for months. And Mommy Ho bought also this one. It's a soon kue, which is like rice cake and turnips. Rice flour and turnips. See, Yuki also one. Yuki? Ingredients. Mama, you can't eat it. That's it. That's it. That's So it's a mixture oh, of boiled pear, apple, um, bitter almonds and sweet almonds and the date. <laughs> <laughs> Yuki, 